see, this is the activist I want to watch. Coming to you on your MySpace page, on your YouTube, trying to get you to talk up. When you don't speak, and when you don't talk, criminals walk. I'm out here in the community today doing a number of things. Uh, today I was with uh, the family of Victoria Franklin. Uh, she was killed last week on 37th and Warfield. And they say it was over some shoes. She sold shoes and the suspects wanted it. She took off and fired a bullet, hit her, went through her heart, and she's dead. So we have three suspects out there. That's what I heard. It could have been more or less. But suspects out on the street who have killed a woman. She was 30 years old. And, uh, you know, I want your tip on this case. I want to know who it is. But here's the messed up thing. We have people, when the family was handing out flyers today, trying to help bury this young woman. Her funeral is tomorrow on Saturday. Uh, they took those flyers and put them on canisters and began to solicit funds that they're going to put in their pocket. So the thing is that we got to stop that. If you see somebody uh, taking up a collection for uh, Miss Franklin, Victoria Franklin, uh, we're only sending donations to Douglas Bank. That's it. We're just sending donations there. We're not soliciting on the street. So if you see these guys with canisters taking money under her name, call the tips hotline, call the police, or call me at 913-321-6764. We've got to speak up. Too much murder in the hood. Now, we're going to switch over and we're going to go over to my uh, Omega computer. All right, we're switching around here. And this right here has become famous as the back computer itself. It has become the Omega computer. It has solved cases. It has solved the case of the Jeffrey Dunham case. It has solved, uh, it was identified internet predators. And recently, we just solved the shooting on 10th and Bournette in Kansas City, Kansas. That guy was picked up in Missouri. The shooter's name was Joe Anthony Freeman. He was arrested about two days ago. The person he shot was Clarence Freeman. Clarence Freeman was 28, the shooter was 27, uh, Joe Anthony Freeman. And they're also relatives, they were cousins. And this was an interesting case because this was a feud between family members. The family members didn't really want to report it to the police. However, a relative secretly contacted me. Uh, I got the information out, united this family with some police officers in KCK, and we have yet another criminal off the street. We can do this. We can make this happen. It's time to squash the violence. Now, I'm going to roll through this pretty quickly because, you know, I got a lot of biddings to kick it with. You know, an activist job is never done. And you probably wonder why I got on the Superman belt and the Superman shirt. I'm the super activist of KCK. And if you're hearing all that in the background, that's my chains hanging. You know, I got to be, you know, rolling fly. But here's the deal. I'm still reaching out to the baddest chick. Shantae, and I've heard all kinds of things. She's in town, she's not in town. She looks like a man, she looks like a woman. She didn't pull all these homicides, she's innocent, she's scared to come forward. Um, you know, she might have been connected to one. The person who she shot wasn't her boyfriend. Obviously, it was somebody else. It was somebody who raped her in her past. All these rumors. It's time to squash the rumors. It's time to get at the truth. Shantae, Shantae, if you hear this broadcast, or if somebody tells you about it, and you feel like you need some help, you feel like you're being framed for all these murders, I want your side of the story. You can email me at myspace.com backslash Alonzo underscore Washington for all these cases. If you have tips about the shooting on uh, uh, 37th and Gorefield, if you have tips in other cases or about Shantae, call me at 913-321-6764. Shantae, what I want you to know is that I'm here to get your side of the story out. I'm trying to bring this to a peaceful resolution. We need to end the gang war. We also need to find out what's going on because when these cops, you know, they, they're beginning to look bad. They can't ca capture you and we don't know what's going to happen. I don't want you to be forced to shoot at them. I don't want them to be forced to shoot at you. So let's end this on a peaceful way. That's pretty much it. If you have a tip, give me a call. Remember, it's hip to give tips and you can get with me. It's time to stop the violence. Peace.